Um, we have a great show for you today. We've known our mission. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we like that. Um, so I'm just going to say a few things. How many people have never been to the theater here before? We just shot a hand. Okay, a little less than half. So welcome. Um, you are seeing uh, a lab show case. Um, and what that means is we have a, a five-level school here. And this is the first level of our performance track. And if that doesn't mean it basically means that they've learned improv, and now this is the first time they're getting a chance to try to hand it, writing their own material and performing it, um, sketches and monologues. It's a pretty exciting week there. Some of them have never written material for themselves before, so it's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, we, it's based on assignments, so you're probably going to notice a lot of similarities. There's a few teachers, there's some annoying people, <laughs> there's some family members, you might see yourself up there. You might be the annoying person. <laughs> Shakespeare! <laughs> 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 You're not excited now, but you got it. 
be. <laughs> now we're in high school now. How many of you have read Shakespeare before? Nobody. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Everybody pull out your copies of Romeo and Juliet. Heather, honey, not on your tablet, okay? I want to see the book in front of you. It gets you better connected to the language. Okay. <laughs> Let's just begin with the prologue, okay? Two households, both alike in dignity, okay? What do you think that means? Well, a household, Shakespeare means families. So, two families, both alike in dignity. They have similar economic means, okay? Similar statuses, like if they both lived in La Crescenta, okay? <laughs> in fair Verona, where we lay our scene. <laughs> Takes place in Verona. <laughs> Scary. Heather, I bet you didn't know that Romeo and Juliet were Italian, did you? I guess somebody should have told Mr. Boz Lerman. <laughs> you didn't know it? It was such a big move. Ah, I'm old. Anyway, here we go. So, 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 from ancient grudge breaks new mutiny. I know, what the heck does that mean? We're gonna break it down, okay? <laughs> so, from ancient Grudge. These two families are feuding. Okay. <laughs> the, feud. the feud is ancient. Okay, it's been going on for generations and generations. Okay, so from ancient grudge breaks new mutiny. Okay, so so the fighting is very hot right now. Okay, over the years it's gone up and down, up and down. But right now it's very hot. We're in we're in an orange zone. Okay. Quickly. 
I'm going to die someday. <laughs> and I'm going to milk every goddamn second on this earth for what it's for. <laughs> I want my tombstone to be a simple, ergonomic rectangle, no blitz or glamour. And I wanted to say, Ted Thompson, he really did it. <laughs> These six words on a tombstone is plenty. Not even dates, just name, power statement, and let's move on. We have more graves to see. <laughs> if the mirror had a display, I could show my work emails, that way I know exactly where I'm walking when I go into the office. That really maximizes my shower's potential. If you don't maximize everything's potential, you're wasting your life. That's why my shower has a wireless printer. That's why my phone has an app that tells me how much life I have left. <laughs> I see I've used two of the five minutes I've allowed myself to be here. I have to stick to my agenda, or I have to cut into my permitted leisure time. Today is also my birthday. I'm going to treat myself by inflating some colorful, festive balloons. <laughs> now, please get the items I've described. I'll stand here as you do it, and plan out my next six meals. Okay. Thank you, <laughs> Oh my gosh, let's see the decorations are so Oh my gosh, thank you. I brought them all from my room at home. Oh, wow. I wish you would decorate my dorm room. I would love that. Really? It's a deal. Okay. I feel like this is the type of sleepover I always wanted when I was younger, but never had. Oh my gosh, I know. I feel like we're in the Mary Kate Nash room right now. Oh my god, I used to watch those and be like, why isn't that me?
Sorry, Steven is like adorable. <laughs> if you ever came into my dorm room, it would be like an American Horror Story season one murder house, because I'd never let him leave. <laughs> <laughs>
chased down and beat up by a pack of mugger squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> now isn't that a funny and ridiculous story? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Great. Now, onto the Folet Mignon dinner plate. This one we're going to role play because it's a bit of a mouthful. Folet Mignon. It's a play on words. <laughs>
three times a week for 20 minutes. <laughs> what do you even do in your free time? I'm a pontoon boat. Well, my family are having a blast tubing on the lake. Your family's crying on that step in fire. Would you call a porch? I don't blame you. If I had a pontoon boat, I'd also use it to escape that miserable excuse for a porch. Or stick to yeah, the face. Yeah, you pass. Oh, I Yeah, here's that dish I borrowed. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. More buffalo chicken salad. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I got my family tickets to four quarters. I'm gonna be in four states at once. I'm a Sky Miles Gold member. I'm an investor in a subway franchise, and it's almost doing fine. <laughs> I'm restoring an antique car, and it has nothing to do with my childhood. I've had horses down at the track, and I don't have a problem at all. I own a Bowflex. I wet my bed. I still wet my bed. <laughs>
here and they're all back in New Haven. I'm so exotic. Like an international, like a, like a domestic exotic international kind of guy. Oh, uh, You know, just, just Van Nuys and New Haven. Those are all places. <laughs>